Clear prop. Grumman Pilots YouTube channel directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association and this morning we want to talk a little bit about compass correction cards and I know it's kind of hard to see this one in the viewfinder because if I get close enough to get it where you can read it you'll notice that whatever ink they used it's faded away you can barely read it so we had to pull out a magnifying glass to read it we transferred these numbers onto a new card on light buff yellow paper this compass card also did not have a plastic shield, so we've remade one right here. Uh, and it's not hard to make these. Just take out your compass correction card, take an old batch of Q-tips. Uh, just, 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 that's all this is, is a piece of plastic from a Q-tip container. It makes the perfect stuff. Cut one out. We're going to go put this back in the airplane. But check your compass correction card. Check the date. We haven't transferred the date yet, but this one was done in 526 of 2013. And then you'll want to make a record of this in your airframe logbook. That way if your card blows out in the wind when your canopy's open or it becomes illegible, you have a backup so you don't have to re-swing your compass. By the way, if you need a compass correction card, uh, just call the GPA, send us an email, and uh, we'll go ahead and put one of these in the mail to you. Uh, we've got a bunch of them. We print them out by the sheet. So we hope you found this informative. Thanks for watching and have a good day flying your grumman.